What's going on guys? I hope you guys are staying safe during this huge uh, pandemic that's going on right now. Uh, today, I'm going to be installing a QD Poco short shift knob for my 10th gen SI. This fitment will be specifically for the 10th gen models. I'm not sure how any other ones work, but hey, power to you if you know how it works. So this is the Acuity shift knob that you get. I have the link in the description from Axion Industries. And look how gorgeous that is. So basically this is a few grams lighter than the original shift knob and it comes with a few zip ties for you to oops, put it together with your shift boot. So what you're actually going to have to do is have a pry tool. You're going to go ahead and take off all this trim over here and then you're going to go up under here and uh, there's going to be a few Phillips screws that you have to take out. So you need a Phillips screwdriver and you're gonna pop that open. With those zip ties, you're going to uh, take off the old one and then you're gonna put a new one on so that way you're able to apply the new shift collar. So this is gonna fit right onto there and the whole thing will probably sit this much lower to be honest. It's a really big difference. It's like getting a short shifter without paying the price and you get a badass shift out. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've got this propped up here. Really gotta go at it to be honest. There we go. go one side off looks pretty sick like a race car so you grab this up <sighs> all right so as hard as that was it's very scary because you think you're gonna break it but you won't so let's go ahead and grab our flips go ahead and take these two screws out No worries, I found it. There we go. There's gonna be a clip on the side here. You press down and pull forward. It's gonna be the same issue there. Let's go ahead and do the side over here. Here's the side with the clip. There you go. Now we got one last one I'm gonna grab on this side. go all right guys so what you're gonna do now uh once you have your wrench all set up you're just gonna pull this down this is only accessible to the si models the non-si are gonna be a little different there we go go ahead and screw this off there's your old shift knob and now and twist this off for now. Make sure to keep this inside. So once you get everything up, you can go ahead and move this out of place. So now, as you look at the shift boot here, what you're gonna wanna remove is this part here. So you're gonna wanna clip this with a sort of pry tool or something sharp so that way you can put on the uh, new shift collar and uh, zip tie. Go ahead and carefully Clip the side of it. Look for a loose end. For me to do. But it seems like it's the only thing that's gonna work at this point. There we go. All right. So once you find the means of taking this off, you go ahead and take this little bad boy off. It's gonna be the old one. All right. So. Once you have everything set here, you're gonna want the shift boot to look a little like this. You're gonna want it inside out at this point. So I'll show you right there, kind of like this. You can take a QED collar and insert right into here. There you go, see how that looks? Go on the bottom side, push it upwards. That way you can actually see the part where it's attaching. So then you're gonna go ahead and get these zip ties. And I'm gonna go ahead and set it into place for now. So have it ready. Put it around that little center piece and start pulling. I'm just triple checking. Let's see how 
it looks. Once I obviously take it out, it's gonna look better. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the excess. Looks pretty good. Over here. What the? <laughs> scared me. Looks pretty good. So once you're all set and you have your ship knob here, here's how it's gonna look when it's all set in stone. That's pretty dope. <laughs> Anyways, so once you're all set, everything looks set in stone, you go ahead and plug these back in. So let's try to figure that bad boy out. Look what a difference so far. It's still going. That is crazy. Look how short that is. That is insane. The longer one is probably up to here. Yeah. I want to say. So, obviously, once you're all done, you're going to do everything backwards. Go. We have officially installed the Acuity shift knob, and oh my god, what a difference. That is unbelievable. The throw and everything is insane. So, again, if you just want to go ahead and take it off, basically just pull up like that. But everything's magnetic and everything's looking good. So, if you guys did enjoy the video, again, uh, this is Petrol Juice. Uh, we try to keep things nice and simple and fun here with the kind of tools that you have at home. Um, again, all these parts are going to be in the description below, and I hope this is a great way for you guys to stay inside, order some parts, and stay safe during this quarantine. Hope you stay safe and see you in the next video.